Hi, my name is Paige Leatherwood. Um, this debate is for Government 2313. I am going to be talking about the upcoming impeachment trial of um, our president. Uh, for this debate, I am on the Republican side. Um, first, I want to talk about what actually justifies the impeachment of a president. Um, there's a lot of different takes on what um, actually involves an impeachment or what should institute an impeachment. And um, the overall view on what should actually or what justifies the impeachment of a president is the president breaking the law, um, corrupting the government in any way. Um, the Constitution actually states itself that the only reasons that a president should be removed from office is um, bribery, the taking of bribes, um, or giving um, any type of treason or any major crimes or misdemeanors, um, and overall just a gross neglect of, of his power. Um, after looking at this clear definition of what an impeachable, an impeachable offense is, um, I'm going to kind of get into what is going on right now and why some people believe that um, President Trump should be impeached. Um, this all sort of uh, came about whenever uh, a phone call was actually introduced. Um, president Trump called the president of Ukraine. Uh, people seem to have a really big issue with this phone call because they believe that the president invited a foreign interference into our government, which isn't what happened at all. Um, this People have this viewpoint because what he actually said during this phone call was taken extremely out of context. So um, if we actually look at the transcript that of this call... Um, he, President Trump discussed the fact that there was some talk circulating about uh, Joe Biden, which is an opponent uh, to him in the upcoming election, and he, he then just suggested that there should be investigation into what was kind of circulating around. Um, this is where people actually twist what happened. They claimed that the president was asking um, Ukraine or the president of Ukraine to actually interfere with the upcoming elections which wasn't the case at all. There was no explicit, um, you should look into this and make winning the election easy for me in 2020. Um, even so, this, this phone call in no way makes for an impeachable offense. There was no law broken during this call. Uh, no bribery was given or taken place, and there was no threat or danger or corruption involved. Um, and like I said, no threat imposed on us from, from a simple call that was made by the president.